The yellow jacket wasp, Vespula pennsylvanica, is common in all areas of Southern California. It is seen in the late spring, summer, and fall. The population dies off in late fall with only a fertilized queen remaining in the ground waiting to start the next hive cycle in the spring. The annual cycle of this social insect starts with the founding queen locating a nest site in the ground or cavity in a log. She does this in April or May. She then starts her paper nest and lays the first eggs for the new hive. The first hatch from the brood cells gets busy expanding the hive for their sisters, brothers, and new queens. The first eggs from the queens are worker wasps who spend their time building the paper palace and tending the larval stage siblings. The first full adults emerge from the hive in June or early July and they forage to feed the hive and protect from predators. When the hive is at its biggest in August, with around 5,000 adults and 12,500 cells, the queen lays the male eggs and the eggs of the new queens. When the male and the new queens hatch, the new queens eat a lot to build their reserves for their overwinter stay. The old queen dies and the worker wasp die. The males mate with the new queens and they die. And the new queens fly away to find their hideout to wait to start the cycle all over. This is sort of like a Shakespearean tragedy. This insect has a dual intake system for its food. It has a mouth and chewing parts for eating meat. That's insects and baloney. It also has a proboscis for sucking nectar. So it eats insects and human food and also nectar. During the early months of the hive's existence, flowers are in bloom. So the adults sip nectar and prey on insects that are on flowers and plants. When they return to the hive, they regurgitate meat protein to feed the larva. The larva respond by excreting a sweet treat for the adult. No sugar is stored in the hive. However, predators like to eat the larva and anything else in the paper house. As time progresses to the peak population of the hive, the adult diet shifts to more meat. In urban areas, we treat this insect to our garbage. Sometimes this species is called the McDonald's wasp. In late July and August, picnickers are battling with pests for the cold cuts. The species is very neat when it eats. It cuts out a perfect circle. In reality, this insect is a beneficial insect to gardeners as it does a good job as a real natural pest control helper. The yellow jacket has a nasty reputation because of its ability to sting many times and to bite. It is very uncomfortable to be stung and bitten. An attack by this can be life-threatening if you are allergic to their venom. This swarming behavior has been used in cartoons for years as a sight gag. Predators attack the hive at night because the wasps are cold-blooded and don't move very well when it's cold. That the hive is well protected is seen in this footage you're seeing. My first approach was in the afternoon in full sun. I remained away from the hive. I came back early in the morning when it was cool, when the wasps were sluggish. I moved some of the leaves that were covering up the entrance to the hive. See them swarm out of the hive, watch them shiver to get warmed up, and then watch them get me away. The sound of their zipping by my head was a real motivator to skedaddle. The Yellow Jacket Wasp, Vespula Pennsylvanica. <laughs>